is in Christ. He is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. When we come to church and we go back, we are not supposed to be no longer the same person that we used to be. We already surrender our life to Jesus Christ. That means he's already taking over our life. That's according to this Bible, to these Bible verses. And especially the verse 17. The Bible says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, just speak on this one. If therefore, if anyone is in Christ, meaning that Christ is controlling your life. You're no longer you. No longer. Galatians chapter 5 verse 16. Walk by the spirit of God. So you don't do the last of the flesh. Because the last of the flesh, they, they are enemy to the, to the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is enemy to the last of the flesh. So when we surrender our life to Jesus Christ, we no longer us. We no longer Fijian. We no longer Indian. We no longer someone. We no longer Tongan. We become Christ. We are, we are new creation. But so many times when we surrender our life to Jesus Christ, we still bring up this tradition, this culture. It, it's not supposed to be there anymore. We are a new person in Christ. We are, com we are completely new in Christ. Hallelujah. And that's why the, the Israelites, they continue to go back to become uh, Israelites in the physical because they're supposed to be renewed in the power of God in the spirit. So it's no longer them that live, Christ that live in, in them. And that is a big challenge to, to us Christians, including our church, including New Methodists. Every church denomination, when we walk through that door and surrender our life to Jesus Christ, we're not supposed to be living the life that we used to live before. Because the Bible says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, you are no longer a Fijian. You are no longer a church member. You are no longer belong to a denomination. You are in Christ. That's why he told Peter in Mark chapter 8. You can go to Mark chapter 8 for you to read. Um, the Bible says, Jesus spoke to the disciples and said, we will go to Jerusalem and the elders, they will, uh, they will arrest me. And they will kill me. On the third day, I will rise again. Peter took him aside and said, No, we're not supposed to be. Go there and for you to die. The Bible says, Peter rebuked him. So he turned to Peter and called all the disciples and the crowd and said, You just think of the thing of men. Get behind me, Satan. See? Peter is the number one disciple. But that day, Jesus called him what? Satan. He said, you only think of the things of men. You are not thinking of the things of God. So Jesus said, get behind me, Satan. A person that followed Jesus Christ, and he's the person that stood up and preached in Acts chapter 2, full of the Holy Spirit. But before that, Jesus called him Satan. Why? Because even though he was following Jesus, his mind, his heart was all for himself and all for the physical things. Will, can you read uh, Mark chapter 8 from that one? Just read it loud. For whoever is the same of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of and sinful generation of him, the son of man also will be the same. That's, when he the, comes. that's verse 37. You move up a little bit. You have to move up to 31. And he began to teach them that the son of man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders and other priests and scribes and be killed and after three days rise again 
He spoke this word openly. Then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. Continue. But when he had turned around and looked at his disciple, he rebuked Peter, saying, Get behind me, Satan, for you are not mindful of the things of God, but the things of men. Hallelujah. As long as we just think of the things of men, remember, we are no longer following Christ. We can go to church. We can belong to a denomination. You can be, preach and teach like me. Just like Peter. But as long as you continue to think of you, you think of the physical things. You think of your stomach. Remember, all of your intent of uh, the think, the, the thinking, the intention, uh, your heart, your person, continue for, for yourself. Jesus said, you always think of yourself. You always think of the world. Get behind me, Satan. Hallelujah. Continue. Continue from there. Take up the cross and follow him. When he had called the people to himself, with the disciple also, he said to them, whoever desires to come after me, whoever desires to follow me, eh? whoever desires, eh? whoever desires to follow me, my, let him deny self. Let him deny self, number one. My, and, and take up his cross. Take up his cross, another one. And follow me. And follow me. Continue. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it. Because if you want to save your life, you will lose it. You think of your work, you think of your family, you think of the things of this world, then you will continue to lose Christ. The Bible says, because if you want to save your life, you lose it. But if you lose your life for me and the gospel, then your life is already kept. That means when you finish this life, we are talking about when we die, just like those words, the, the tomb there, tombstone. How many of these people, their name is written in the book of life? How many of these people? These are the result of what we do. We still have the opportunity to change our life. We, have, we still have the opportunity to surrender our life to Jesus. How many of these people are in hate? Hades is a stopping place for hell. Yeah? Hell is the final destination. But Hades, they will know. Hades and paradise are the stopping stone for hell and heaven. Most of these people that are lying there, six feet on the ground, they are already in hate. Most of them in hate. As long as you don't surrender your life to Jesus Christ, like this one. Therefore, if you are not in Christ, hallelujah. Imagine we are talking about the serious issue here. It's not about coming to church and enjoy the fellowship and the food, build a big building. No, it's about our life in Christ. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, for those that save their life, they will lose it. And for those that lose their life because of me, Jesus, and the gospel, the word. That's why the preacher, uh, the taltala, if they really do their job well, their life is already kept in Christ. That's why Paul said, I already fight the good battle. I run the race. Hallelujah. And the crown is already there for me, waiting for me. And he said, not only for me, also for you, Timothy, and all those that will stand up and take the gospel like us. Praise the Lord. God is good. All the time. God is good. All the time. So we are talking about this one here. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, is Christ controlling your life? Hallelujah. Is Christ telling you everything and you are following? Or are you just leading your life? It's, it's all you. It's, it's me, myself, and I. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says, when you call them, 34, verse 34, can you read again verse 34? Whoever desires to come after me. Whoever desires to come after me. Whoever. Eh? Whoever desires to follow me. Eh? Whoever. Anybody? Jesus said, whoever is speaking to Peter and the apostle and he's speaking to the crowd. The Bible says, he called the disciple and the crowd and he said, Whoever 
kana tungana normal breakfast lunch dinner every day and all mamu the loss of the flesh the flesh want to uh, be comfortable the flesh want to be satisfied that is the flesh and the bible says for those that want to follow me number one, they must not follow self say with me self to do your neighbor tell your neighbor self ko au ko sabia muri au ko ni muri na lo mana lo mama lo malebo amen we are like we we are like we you want to go here you want to go there you want to go everywhere and god is trying to tell you you go in the narrow road when jesus said those who walk on the narrow road and open and and go through the narrow door they are going to life imagine every time you go to church and people are crowded in church think again is this the narrow door when you go and watch the game is this the narrow door the bible says go through the narrow road and you'll enter the narrow door he will take you to life there is a wide road and the big door this end up to death imagine how simple that jesus already warned us amen so when you walk with god maybe one or two he said one or two gathered in my name he's not talking about thousands he's not talking about uh tens and hundreds he just say one or two gathered in my name i'm in their midst he knew that only few people that be serving him in in truth and in spirit 500 people i was sharing i think it was in wellington or maybe in wanganui 500 people were there in the mount olive and the bible says he was speaking to them go to the upper room when you go to the upper room and the holy spirit will come how many people 500 how many people how many people then how many people they end up in the upper room anybody know 120 120 divide by 500 every there one quarter so if we count the people here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 
Anybody wrong to you, or you're just very angry. You want to pay back. You want to yeah, just just see how people they fight in the social media. Because nobody wants to lose. Everybody wants to put in their peace of mind. Praise the Lord. So walking with God, it's not easy. It's not easy. We testify the goodness of God, but we must remember, it's not easy. We need the Holy Spirit. Say with me, Holy Spirit. We need the Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit, we cannot do it with our own accord. That's why the Bible says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, eh? If you are with the church, as soon as you walk through the door, you know, a lot of, a lot of questions will be uh, asked to me when I go to the villages. Eh? What's the difference between uh, uh, serving God and serving in the church? I said, Serving in the church, you walk through the door. Oh, everybody like an angel. When we walk out the door, we go back to the, our own lifestyle. But when we serve God, you go to the rugby field, you go and fish, you still live that life the same as you standing here in the church. See? Are you with Christ or are you going to church? Are you with Christ or are you a church goer? Hallelujah. Don't a long text so yandra mataka ni kwa. Bita tuma indone tal tal ngasi. Don't go. Don't tal tal la vuna unani to ni to corona bongi. The room bitu. The room bitu na vuna. Ochi na vuna ngi the room bitu matangu ni angona bagi tamera. Mata ni bongi vuna. So he preach against cover. He preach against cover. Bo everybody shout and everybody uh, accept uh, what he was preaching. Second night, he, uh, he started to change his preaching. And the third night, he was really uh, go into the world, his preaching. After that, he had one big cover celebration, ending up putting powder on your, on your cheek. But they were fasting not to drink cover, not to smoke for that one whole one week. So when they lift the band or when they lift the tambu, they drink all the cover that's supposed to drink from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I woke up this morning in Napier and I was reading the text. Oh, some people, because from Monday, Tuesday, everybody were looking forward that by the end of last night, Friday, that everybody will be end on the, on the mountaintop. Eh? Because of the preaching and sharing every night. But when it comes to last night, and this morning, a lot of the committee, the, those that arrange for the interdenomination, a lot of them, they are very disappointed. Praise the Lord. Why? Because we are not in Christ. Okay, let us read together. Read, read it loud. Two, three. Therefore, from now on, we regard no one according to the flesh. Even though we have known Christ according to the flesh, yet now we know him thus no longer. Two, three. Verse 17. Two, three. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. In Ephesians, verse 17, 2, 3. Iyo kebaka sa tu watake kristo in duwa na tamata. Sa hanggay mbulibo. Sa lakotani na be kamakawa. Raida sa ayado mebo na kakevena. It's just very simple. Amen. So we are talking on your kebaka. Say with me, kebaka. The challenging there is kebaka. If, if we can go to church, but we are not in Christ, we can belong to New Methodist or Pentecostal or AOG or Lotu Isle, but we are not in Christ. The the catchphrase here is your kebaka satu batake Christo. Kebaka. Say with me, kebaka. Tell your neighbor, kebaka. This afternoon at the hotel, the Lord placed this word to me. I was preparing a different Bible study. And the Lord said, you, you speak on this. So I put into New Zealand comms evangelism, just put a Bible verse. This is what is happening when I preach the word. We just put up the, the Bible verse and I preach. But today is the other way around. Hallelujah. 
Why? Because the Holy Spirit wants to speak to somebody today. And the Holy Spirit wants to speak to somebody that are watching on, uh, on Facebook. And those that will watch on the television later. Because so many people are going to church, but we are not in Christ. Because when you are, not in, when you are in Christ, it will be different. Different story altogether. Praise the Lord. Ask your neighbor, are you in Christ? Ask the other neighbor, are you in Christ? Hallelujah. Because when you are in Christ, it's a different thing altogether. So today, make sure that you will be in Christ. Hallelujah. Okay, let us move on. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ. Okay. Number two. Two, three. He is a new creation. You cannot be new until you are in Christ. Hallelujah. I can change my clothes. Doesn't mean I'm new. I can change my haircut. Doesn't mean that I'm new. We don't call new methodists. Doesn't mean it's new. We only knew when somebody is in Christ. Hallelujah. Why? Why is that? Because Christ's character will come to be your character. That's why most of us here, we are uh, grog swipers. Eh? Grog swipers. Smoke. I, I normally share. I, no, I normally smoke BH20. I don't buy BH10. Hallelujah. So when I was in Christ, all these things, nobody told me. When I was in Christ, drinking kava most of the time and then was down. There's a hotel in Nandi called Melanesian Hotel. After that, go to Melanesian Hotel. We have an airport club next to the control tower in Nandi. Hallelujah. So after, after I receive the Lord Jesus Christ as my personal savior, then I can say that I'm new. Without it, going to school does not make you new. Getting a diploma does not make you new. Achieving in education does not make you new. When the, when the new year comes, it does not make you new. Happy new year. Eh? No, nothing new. Same old sun, same old moon, same old cloud. Nothing new. The only thing new when someone is in Christ. Hallelujah. When someone is in Christ, then the Bible says, he is a new creation. New creation. Say with me, new creation. Most of the time, that's why the churches continue to be doing the same thing all over again. And the church is not effective uh, to the society. The church, we, we go to the village. I, I can see, see two here in Samoa, uh, in uh, Samoan uh, neighborhood, the Tongan neighborhood. If you go to uh, the village in Samoa, you go around uh, uh, Upolu. Upolu, yeah. Uh, if you go around... Uh, uh, Tonga Tapu, that's in, in Tonga. Most of the villages, they have big, big churches. But people will never become new because you build a big church. People only become new when we surrender our life to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. <laughs> If you go to church and just draw a cartoon, as long as you're in church. But Jesus is speaking to us and telling us, no, we're supposed to accept him as our personal savior. And Paul said, it's no longer I that live, but Christ that lives in me. So it's no longer Atu that live. I'm a dead person. And if you're a dead person, people, when people... Uh, what you call the slender. You don't feel anything because you are a dead person. Ni rabaka lili ko na tamata. Iko sa katuri bakila. Balda mo. Kaya ndo yung matutu alo kani alo kani kinita kinita ko ay na respond mai. A dead person. Ay. Iko kinita ko ay tapi mai. No. Iko rin doro doni ba robaro taki na nevana. Will he respond? No. He's a dead person. When you are responding, when people. Uh, saying things to you and you are responding that means the old man is still alive you can only uh, respond because you have a feeling you can hear hallelujah but if you are not responding that means you are not affected 
When people say a lot of things about you, about your family, about your haircut, about your clothes, when, when they say, hey, no mi kuchu kuchu bakatu ni kuchu kuchu go. Okay, praise the Lord. Amen. Pinaka. Hey, no mutu kuchu kuchu bakatu ni bell bottom. Go in the 1960s, 1970s. You could care less because you are a dead person. But if you are not dead person, you'll get angry very quickly. You are not, you don't have enough patience to forgive people that they wrong to you. You're very irritated easily. Hallelujah. If you're in a hole like this and maybe it's very hot, uh, it'll be sown in your face, it'll be sown in your action. Why? You don't have the patience to maintain uh, uh, that the surrounding is not affecting you. Hallelujah. And if you're in a pl- uh, place that is very cold, you'll be the first one that will be folding your arms and uh, looking around. <sighs> it's really cold. Because you don't stand. You easily get irritated. Why? Because it's just full of yourself and none of God. And that's why Jesus come. So we have less of us and more of him until we are all of him and none of us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We we very judgmental about uh, our brothers and sisters, the Indians or maybe the Hindus and the Muslim. We are very quick to to make comments. Why? Because we are not dead person. Hallelujah. The, the Bible says, "Ya kema kasa tu bata ke Kristo i don't matter sangge bulbo." Kabata ke sangge bulbo. So the new creation depends on Christ. When Christ is in you, then you are a new person. And that's why we continue to have teaching like this, so you become less of you, less of you, less of you, more than him, more of him, more of him, less of you, less of you, less of you, less of you, more of him, more of him, more of him, less of you, less of you, less of you, more of him. Until you are no longer you, nothing of you, and you are all of him. Hallelujah. And those kind of teaching we hardly hear in church. And that's why we need continuous reading your Bible. You must read your Bible. Because if there's no teaching in the church, at least you are reading your Bible. And the Holy Spirit will reveal the Bible and the meaning of the Bible to you. Amen? So only two things. Only two things in this one here. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. That's it. The new creation, go on a kayava in a new creation. So only two things. If someone is in Christ, it's a new creation. Hallelujah. What is a new creation? Then the old things have gone. Was was that? Tapako. You become new creation, semicolon toga. Because the old things have passed. Behold, all things become new. Your mind, new. Your heart, new. The way that you look at things, new. Your attitude, positive. No longer negative. See? These are the process of new creation. The new creation comes when Christ is in you. And the new creation happened. And what is a new creation? Sangai lakotani na vikamakawa. Na thama na vikamakawa. Yalo da. Yiku vikila na vikamakawa. We'll go to the list in Galatians chapter 5. Eh? If you have your Bible, please go to Galatians chapter 5. We'll start to read from verse 19. Hallelujah. Oh, we'll start to read from verse 16. Uh, oh, anybody? Um, oh, anybody have a Fijian Bible? Okay. You come and, you come and sit here. Eh? Because when you, you speak from here, the, your voice will go there. And Tal Talangasi will be on, in English. Eh? Okay. This is what we call Salakotani Nabi Kamakawa. And what is the Vivi Kamakawa? See? We will go to what is the Vivi Kamakawa. You don't need a mic, just speak out. Yeah? You don't need a mic, just speak out. Hallelujah. My Talgase, verse 16. Verse 16. Right up to verse 18. And then we'll go to the vision and then 19 again. Eh? So, 16 to 18. We'll look at Sarmidake. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I say again, walk in the spirit 
and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are the contrary to one another, so that you do not do the things that you wish. But if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, You have, to, you have to speak up. repeating eh? uh, the lust of the flesh is fighting against the, the spirit of God and the spirit of God is fighting against the lust of the flesh the spirit of God is the new thing and can only come because you accept Jesus Christ that's a new thing spirit of God is a new thing and only come because of Jesus Christ the lust of the flesh is the old thing because you get this from your mother's womb the flesh come from your mother's womb and the Bible says that we are conceived in sin. Kita rukun ikutnya tak itu ni berbeza. Rubia tu bukan tabat tak ina. Amen ni? Kita rukun ikutnya tak itu ni berbeza. So it's in our flesh. So as long as you have the flesh, you will continue to do the evil things. Amen ni? And the Bible says, and the Holy Spirit it comes against the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the flesh go against the evil things. Verse 18. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are under the law. Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lordliness, adultery, sorcery, hatred, contentious, Jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambition, decisions, heresies, envy, murderers, drunkards, revelries, and the like of which I tell you beforehand, just as I also told you in the time past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Now, my verse 18 and 19 hallelujah if the Holy Spirit is leading you then the, the law what is the law? the ten commandments you don't need the ten commandments why? because the Holy Spirit is leading you the Spirit of God will tell you to worship God the Father so you don't need that uh, commandment number one don't, don't bow down to any name or create any image in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. When you are led by the Spirit, you will not go and worship an idol. Hallelujah. So when you are guided by the Spirit, you don't need the law. When you know the law, you don't have to be reminded 80 kilometers an hour. You know it's supposed to be 80 kilometers an hour. You don't need the sign on the road. If you know how to run on the... Um, on the text you don't have to you don't need the marking on the text lane 1 to lane 8 yeah? the one which you going to lane you don't need the marking on the lane why? because you know how to run when to run and where to run so when we have the spirit of God who is the greatest teacher then you don't need the law why we need the law? because we always break the law that's why God called Moses this is the law 
my people are always breaking the law. Praise the Lord. Okay, read again. From 19. Okay, just hold on there. The Bible says, if anyone is in Christ, is a new creation. The old things. We we are about to hear now the old things. The old things have passed away. Satu bata ke Kristo, indo tu mata sanga imbuli bo. Salah kau tanya nabi kamu kau. Nada apa nabi kamu kau? Siapa orang list tak mengko nabi kamu kau? The last of the flesh. It's in your flesh. Iko nasi roni dinai taka, aku nasi roni dinai taka. Kau dah rombo tevita, iko nada romba. Kau dah rombo ilaisa, iko nada romba. Dah romba dah ilaisa. Oh kau lebu ni tu erere, tapi kau nasi spirit ni erere. And he hide from Jezebel. Hey, sanga lu tu ngana buka ngamik kabin. Sarere tan, and that sin. So as long as you get the flesh, you will sin, whether you like it or not. You will sin. That's why we need the Holy Spirit. My will get along with the Lord. Yes, I go to another country and I talk with you. Yes, I go to another country and I talk with you. Dau undara, dau semua semua, dau ngaru ngaru, soru kita bima takau, dau kaisau sau, dau beidati, beileti, bengati, dunu dunru, bimba, beisei boka burbura, beisei ni lotu, dau bubu, dau mateni, marau boka lilia wili kita apa utama tak kita beisui, kita kata lepak kaki na. We want the goodness of God to come. Eh? Seek you first the kingdom of God. And all these things shall be added to you. And the Bible says, you will not enter the kingdom of God. So forget about the added thing to you. And people go to church and they ask and they ask God. But there's no reply to their prayer request. Why? They are not in the kingdom of God. Because of the list that we just heard. Why we continue to do that? Because of the flesh. The flesh. And that's why we need Jesus. The Holy Spirit cannot work until we receive Jesus Christ. We receive Jesus Christ as our personal saver. Then the Holy Spirit will come and do his job. Praise the Lord. God is good, eh? That we can know as long as because that's why we need to pray a lot. Because I'm not happy with this. And I'm sin because of that. Somebody criticized me and uh, and uh, I respond. Maybe I don't say it in my mouth. I don't put it in the Facebook because I don't have any Facebook. But in my heart, I already sin. That's why I have to pray now. Lord, please help me. Forgive my sin. From the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So you, you come away from that listing. Because none of us that we are here and none of those hundreds that they are tuning in today that we are free from the last of the flesh. As long as you have the flesh. The only person that does not sin but have flesh is who? Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And that's why we always pray in the name of Jesus. So if you forget anything, you will say in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Sa lakotani na bika makawa, lakotani na ndo yalewa, lakotani na ngarongarda, lakotani na ndo wimba, lakotani na ndo dududu. Balta daba, sa tubat ke Kristo ndo tumata bulibo. You were created a new creation because the old things have gone. Eh? Behold, eh? old things have passed away. You don't chase away the old things. You just allow Jesus into your life. Iko tinggal mici sunga, mino muturang, mino mewah bulan. Sangkai lagu ngau untuk ya lewa, sangkai lagu ngau untuk tengahnya, sangkai lagu ngau dunu dunu, sangkai lagu ngau bimba. The old things have gone. Hallelujah. Say with me, the old things have gone. 
And the old things can only go because Jesus replaced that. When Jesus comes in, he's the king of all kings. He's the Lord of all Lord. All those spirits bow down to him. I will say that again. Why the old things gone? Because the king of all kings are coming into your life. Amen. The king of all kings. The Bible says the name that is given to Jesus in Philippians chapter 2. Eh? He is the king in heaven. He's the king on earth. And he's the king under the earth. So everything you have to go because of Jesus comes into your life. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay. We are talking about here. Matenika. Therefore, if someone is in Christ, Nisa tu batagi Kristo in tomata, sagay bulibo. Eruang ang ka. Tu batagi Kristo in tomata, sagay bulibo. Okay. Bulibo mo kibi. Oh. All things have gone. Tapatale. All things have become new. See? Dona po sa chibika. Kada po ko? Kada po kamay? Kada po kamay dake? Kada po kamay? Kada po kamitsi? Kena baka bici? Kena baka lagi? Baka bici? Ena lombo na nomu kam. Iku sinu nebu nitak. You can't hide when you are new. People will notice that you are new. Kena kena baka berada. Ena berada. Ena lombo. Kena buni bangko, kena buni bangko. Sana. Ena lorain. Tuan tamate. When someone is in Christ, he's a new person. The old things have got. Behold. The new things have come. The person that is supposed to be enemy with you, you come again. Hey, Bulumanaka. Hey, what happened to this person? Last time he was growling at me. Now he's uh, welcoming. Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, I haven't seen anything new in your life. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is good. God is good. All the time. This is the message that was given to me about 4 o'clock this afternoon. That God said, go and explain properly to my people. Because most of us, we don't know that we can be new. You can be new. You can be new. If the Bible says say, say that you can be new, you can be new. If he said to Peter, throw the net so it can be a catch. When he said, throw the net because the cat is waiting. The new is waiting. You have to <laughs> accept that waiting. Praise the Lord. Sayad, sa lakotani na kamakawa, reida, sayado mebo na kakevena. Hallelujah. People will start to see. And that's why we become the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Salt of the earth light of the world light means that means the physical sphere and the spiritual sphere the salt is the people around you they will know there's a change in your life because it's no longer you that live but Christ in you hallelujah when somebody is in Christ the bible says he is a new creation you become new the old English, read it because on a makabango, eh? Chicken can indicate us, eh? Na comma, semicolon, but again a colon, do you know what you can a colon? Gambale, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. No me was a wasa, because nobody will take away your voice. Your words will start to change, your looks start to change. Your relationships start to change. Your attitudes start to change. The way that you commit yourself start to change. Before, all your friends in the old, you start to change your friends because somebody new is sitting in you. The Bible says, wherever your treasure is and your heart will be. Your treasure, your heart, your body. Oh, kita tak tahu satu rara ni kita, no. Ibu sini kita dah. Naya ngomu emurian alam mamu, alam mamu emurian nomu yau. Ibu cuci kiri, balik tangan nomu yau, cuci kiri. Satu kiri nomu yau, bos ini keluar, bukan kata my fellowship. 
sangge pa na elo mo sangge ko ti sangge ko to mai na ngomo ni ulo ko ti ko mai eliu ti ko nguyao jesus a no nguyao no nguyao tale when jesus becomes your treasure wherever they talk about jesus that's your treasure so your heart will follow your treasure and your body will come along you are not sitting here because you want to be here you are sitting here because your heart is telling you to be here why your heart is telling you to be here because your treasure is the word of god praise the lord eh i believe that's clear and uh, we'll ask the praise and worship team hallelujah Father, we thank you. We praise your mighty name. We thank you, Father God, for this beautiful afternoon. The weather is just so beautiful here. Uh, yesterday it was raining and cold on the other part of New Zealand, but today is beautiful. Uh, we thank you. And also the Bible study that we go through. We are so blessed with the Bible study today, speaking to us through the power of your holy spirit and we thank you for the god for the rest of the program the items the dancing and the testimonies and uh, the your word we thank you for the god that will bless us and bless us mightily we give you the glory and the honor and the praises uh, to be yours and yours alone in jesus wonderful name we pray somebody shout amen, amen. somebody shout amen Hallelujah. Don't have a kid and I tell Tali Sere, Kiko Kilana Sere Gong, Elana Tumai. Hallelujah. Oh, feel his anointing, feel his power tonight. It's so good to be the arms of the Lord. It's so good to be the arms of the Lord. You can feel his anointing tonight. So good to be the everlasting arms of the Lord. It's so good to be the arms of the it's so Lord. Good. Oh, it's so good. It's so good to be the arms of the Lord. Oh my God, it's so good. It's so good to be the arms of the Lord.
Hallelujah. Vossa so tomo da vaga levo na calou e na cabeça na cabeça no coração. Sao sao vaga levo na calou. Hallelujah. Na cabeça na cabeça no coração. Ronda da segunda na tal tal ser. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na cabeça na cabeça no coração. Rita lei ninda rabinga é na linha na calou. Bugu me cati a sao munga tu na vaga. Hallelujah. Tal lei na bula ninda para a rabinga na calou. É na cabeça na cabeça no coração. Sura da ninda bula ninda torre está lá dentro da bandeira. É na cabeça na cabeça no coração. Na quinta vaga sao chico. Hallelujah. Norto um bula. Hallelujah. Na tim fizi é na cabeça na cabeça no coração. Hallelujah. Do you know to make a little bit of a difference? I am not going to be able to do it. I am not going to be able to do it. I am not going to be able to do it. I am not going to be able to Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Basa sao, basa sao, sao na kalau, sao Hallelujah! Ena kami vina kani sige ni kuwa Hallelujah! Yeah, I'm 
continue on with the liquid fasting and then you'll break your fast when you receive your, your visa or when you're in the plane then you'll break your fast or when you reach New Zealand. Praise the Lord. Ma'am, the appointment is fully booked. You can, I cannot do anything else. Oh, you can book some other time. I'm a regular patient there. You can book me. Just do something. Praise the Lord. Ma'am, how else may I have to explain to you that the appointment is fully booked? Praise the Lord. Niko kinikila tu na katunda kalo ni kusa chuko na mesteri hima tanga lingiri kete vango ala kutuyani praise the Lord praise the Lord so na dona singa yama takale wapaksa mtaka chuna matakale ni two city sangire ane endua you know that I'm a manager for manager for ANZ Bank I'm a regular customer there so na nguna na tevo rando wa tekta kikenda au sakelo tunga mailo mango manager my ANZ Bank say manager my colonial bank sa fully book na kango praise the Lord Amen. I went to Kalungo. You sent me to Lumani Wanga Book and I sing it to Salak Mikina. Babuli there on a Kalu, which you need to go to your knees and pray. Sometimes we were taking a Kalu, 
Eu sabia que 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 eu eu sabia que 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 eu Praise the Lord. Eh? I'm going to go to the house. 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 i so na ngono na ngana ke dai ku sabia nto kanto ka ke na musabia le tu kidak bida na madai ko ka na roma tsini ka anti rai ro na kalo sira nga e bos nga bia praise the lord eh na ngana ke dai ku sabia le da ka bakin nta na ka ando nge ka na singa ya na ngana mda nga ku tombali ke na batol bango orto na wala yorto nge nta no vava merto talu mai muria la ka tale muria to mi ka mai no vava ndar tale tombal tale praise the lord eh na ka ke dai ke dai ri mai nta ke ona kelo o mai ndur tinga ni ko mo more than a clue was a recaloya londina. Praise the Lord. Now on a lacome in a Lomani Wanga Buka San Dambe, Kito Sarek, to Raidan, near the song of the Rakatum by Rakatum, Dolab, Songot, Dolab, Songot. Praise the Lord. Amen. I was a travel on my tongue, but I was embarrassed in the Nanga Kalilinga. Now sing out in a circuit with the Lessing at Lakomiki and Gumalaka Minisland. So grateful to God. But I'm going to have a cynical theory of Minisland. Me adome na ngau na au sale invita na ngu en we live mo apply taka ge netu mani netu hr officer ge mituku na kai la ko yo la ko nyusland atal no asona la ko me bango atama tapa ke ngar tar 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 ngia you going to new zealand for praise the lord er sa kila ke bela ka kan yo la ko me nyusland december ber ti ko me na visa ba ka sa kai ti ko me ya long tu ranga er sa kila ke ti ni la ko nyusland amen Sale la comena singa bukelulu mbate ni ndo ni mektola comena moniti move na bukelulu sai matakhele ni lotule o sa ndurika you keep telling god it's the same thing over and over again praise the lord that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying when i say miracle working god eh that's of sara bana kalungo praise the lord ni ure da nakako ya kama sala comena matakhele ni lotule bu au la comena mai na tamin nungu mas Okay, na lakoma na ngidana kila time na ndamax na lakoya ni oyo na mastu na that half an hour but then you go allocate that given at the time. Au sa ndure that ngamai. Lord, I don't know what else to say. Nugu gain dabo som dambe som bungaya. Au sa dabo sartunga sata ngidana ka utukuna on tunga na nugu screen na YouTube na gospel eh replay tunga na gospel sa ndabo tu. Au rongo na vibe. It's just one of those vibe. I mean, to the worship team comes, the managers comes, whatever comes is there. It's just one of those vibes that are just ringing on that phone. I could care. So, Santa would. But the Nusabu catch Quinto and Akawana Kalu, Turanganunguvisa, 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 Niram and the Kawango, Ausan, Navos and Nicolo Kede, Aundo, Vuno Tabir, Tamatana sing on the Liviskokina, Ausavuno Takede, Talibia, Mokaya, Lord. Praise the Lord. If you abide in me and my word is abiding you, you may ask whatever you wish, whatever you wish, it will be done for you. Come a day where you have to wait and you like it's coming into your mind where you say, Lord, are you hearing me or what is going on? Praise the Lord. But this God never fails. Ni undurtiko ni langa seretiko. Sini bakambulaya ura wana nungu langa seretiko. Nakalung nunduangangu wa rindaka. 
Amen. Ni umeka itikoni kwa is just one of his testimony. Iko ndani chukuma iko, rongo ndani chukuma iko kaya ni kaya chukani baba kora mbita kimirika walking God. Avaka vaka iko. Can you see that moment when you are just waiting, 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 waiting? You want to see the hands of God move, but oh, wabina wana taka na kolongo. Ni ma induri itikoni kwa, au sama induri tu ni silanti. The island of the long white clouds. Praise the Lord. Oh, when taka na kolongo na na kavi ni sige na kani kwa. Obalis wana kolongo langi langi na the very na man don na kavi ni Alion toman tangan toba susu wana turang na kavi ni sige na kani kwa. Kavi kanta de bola tambul feel pay ba bitu ina baka de mani kalau wasi bitu na bika kiranga. Eklero na baka tunde taka na lamam tau kena lamam tau. Ena buku itu sekarang itu sangat tanda na bunuh cikin na baka demu. Baka demu cikin abe cisu. Ena sige na kani kwa. Kavi kanta cermin cina kavi tu bitu. Ni kalau ngat na tamat de baka ramai cawa. Kani tak kicau mana tanda. Ena kavi ni sige ni kwa. Usir tanda tumbul darbo untuk cikin kanta na mati ni mekir. Ena kavi ni sige na. Hallelujah. Basa sahut kami tengah nak keluar nak kami bina kami sini kuah. Hallelujah. Sahut sahut balik bina keluar nak kami bina kami sini dendai. Hallelujah. Sangat sahut sini tora bumbal bumbal nangau nana kami bina kami sini kuah. Nasura tetal sini tu nunggu tokani. Nana kami bina kami sini dendai. Ocho ocho sini tu kunyal lebih kianda. Nana kami bina kami sini dendai. Zabu tu mai nasa naba turang ora. Nana kami bina kami sini dendai. Bagai cikgu cikgu yokalandi. Nana kami bina kami sini kuah. Sura tetal sini nampu lene ingkase. Biasa. Nana kami bina kami sini kuah. Mena mai wasi anga viki anda na kala lebu na kavi na kaza kavu na kalau kina na nambula ena kavi vina kani sini kuwa baso sauta kata lebu ndo na kalau nita kita baka chuka na nambula ena kavi vina kani sini dendai.
when you praise the Lord. I promise you I'd 
understand If for me you had no time I think I just hit bottom And I'm looking out to see I'm too unworthy, Lord, to come to you Could you please come down to me? Sing it, Aaron. I guess I must be reaping From the seeds that I have sown Oh, and Lord, you owe me nothing we haven't spoken for so long Oh, but if you could spare some mercy Lord, I pledge my life to Thee I'm too unworthy, Lord, to come to You Could You please come down to me? you I'd understand if for me I had no time I think I just hit bottom and I'm looking up to see I'm too unworthy Lord to come to you could you please Come down to me Oh Lord I think I've just hit bottom And I'm looking up Lord Oh Lord To see To honor the Lord To come to you Could you please Come down We can feel that the presence of God is in this house. Hallelujah. We can feel that God wants to speak to, to somebody in a very special way. So let us come before the Lord. Let us sing a worship song uh, this evening before we hear the word of God. I just feel that God wants to touch you. In a very, very special way. Hallelujah. In this place of worship is Jesus. I bow my knees. In this place. I bow my knees, I bow my knees in this place, in this place of worship, in this place of worship, we bow our knees, I bow my knees. In this place of worship, we come together and bow our knees. I bow my knees. In this place of worship, in this place of worship, in this place of worship. Oh, Lord, you 
Heavenly Father, we thank you, we praise your mighty name. In the name of Jesus, we receive your blessing tonight. In the name of Jesus, we receive your healing tonight. In the name of Jesus, we receive open doors tonight. In the name of Jesus, we confess your strength, your power, your healing to our body tonight. And we thank you for the God that your word says when two or three come together in your name, you are in our midst. You are here, O Lord, we can feel it. We know it, Father God. And we thank you for the God for the word that you prepare for us tonight. Thank you for the singing. Thank you for the items. Thank you for the testimony. We are so blessed tonight. And you will move wonderfully from the top right down to the bottom, from the right to the left, from the left right up to the right. And you will move mightily in this place. Healing, manifesting in a very special way. This is our prayer. We give you the glory and the honor. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. And somebody shout. Somebody shout to the Lord. Somebody shout to the Lord. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Oh, you can take your seat in the presence of God. We can feel the power of God in this place. Amen. We can read together our Bible reading. It's there. Uh, Jeremiah 32, 26, 28. Focus on 27. I, the Lord of all mankind, or all flesh, is anything too difficult for me to do. The title today on preaching, nothing is difficult with our God. Amen? Okay, let us read together. Two, three. Then the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah saying, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Therefore, thus says the Lord, Behold, I will give this city, that's Jerusalem, into the hands of Chaldeans, into the hands of Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, and he shall take it. May God the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit bless this Bible reading. Praise the Lord. Nothing is too difficult for God. When we normally hear this, this 27, verse 27, eh? Jeremiah 32, 27. We hear that a lot. Eh? Jeremiah 22, uh, 32, 27. I am the God of all flesh. Is anything too difficult for me? The story about the, the prophets. They were talking about that nobody will touch Jerusalem. I'm just trying to say before the preaching. The background of this chapter. Hallelujah. All the prophets were talking about that God will save the city. You can continue to do what you are doing. You can continue to worship uh, idols. Because this city belongs to God, Jerusalem. Amen. There is no one that can come and take the city. But Jeremiah was speaking differently. Jeremiah was telling the people, We are committing sin. We are supposed to turn away from idol worshipping. We are supposed to serve God. And they were telling Jeremiah, Jeremiah, you are just too new to this prophet thing. You are just a small prophet. You are just a new prophet. So nobody listened to Jeremiah. Nobody listened to Jeremiah. So Jeremiah was crying to God. And asking God. And God told Jeremiah, tell them that I am the Lord of all flesh. Including Nebuchadnezzar. I am the God of all mankind. Some translation. There is nothing too difficult for me to do. I can use Pharaoh. I can use Nebuchadnezzar. I can use Pontius Pilate. I can use anybody. Because I am a God of all mankind. Hallelujah. When I start to read this story. Then I realize. That God can put a Nebuchadnezzar. To teach you. To humble you. God can use a Pharaoh. God can use Indians in Fiji. To humble us. It's okay. To humble us. Hallelujah. So we can serve God. In truth and in spirit. 
the Jewish people were taken to Babylon because after this, after this, they were taken to Babylon for 70 years. Merle, Vakavatika, a slave. And that's where they go to the river Babylon and they were crying to Zion by the rivers of Babylon where they sat down and cry for Zion. When they were in Zion, they forgot Zion. While they were in Babylon, Gori, Kemu. See? God knows exactly how to humble you. Amen. Amen. God knows what to touch. Hallelujah. And that's why don't allow God to humble you because he knows exactly what to do. And Jeremiah was talking to them. Hallelujah. Behold, I am the Lord of all mankind. Is anything too difficult for me? That's the background. I just want you to know that God can work on the negative and God can work on the positive. Even though the preaching tonight will be on the positive side. But I want you to know the story behind this Bible verse. Amen. He can change the policy of a company. He can change the policy of an institution. He can change the policy of a nation. For his will shall be done. He knows how to do it. He knows how to part at the Red Sea. He knows how to send manna from heaven. He knows what to do things because he is God. We heard the testimony today. A wonderful uh, testimony from Chovesa. Chovesa, where are you sitting? Yeah. So Chovesa, because of the things happened, he was trying to test whether New Methodist is serving the real God. If you really real, then the visa of these five boys will come. You know, most of the time we put, we put God to test. I was telling the Maris brother high school, I told them, when the dust settle at Churchill Park, you will know the God that I serve. Amen. Hallelujah. You, you, you know, you challenge the word of God back to God. Because he will always true to his word. We heard, Tata, we heard uh, Simi saying, your, God, your word says this, your word says this. He recited the Bible verse when he was in the mission. Hallelujah. So God recognizes his word. So when you're sitting here and uh, there are things in your life that is not going well, take the word of God. Your word says this. Because God is always true to his word. Hallelujah. Touch your neighbor and tell your neighbor, His word will come to pass. His word will come to pass. Amen. Isaiah 40 verse 8. The plants die and the flowers wither. But the word of the Lord will remain forever. Praise the Lord. God is good. So this is a story about nothing is difficult with our God. Hallelujah. Few things I want to say today. Five. No leader, no man, no king can change or stop him. Number two. No nature, no situation can stop him. Number three, no sickness, no weakness can stop him. Number four, no spirit, no demon or devil or Lucifer can stop him. Number five, no problem, no anyone or no anything can stop him. Hallelujah. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I, I, I share this during the Bible study. Um, normally when I preach I just put the Bible verse on top and then I preach but today out of all the night Sabi Sao Sao Bible study with the verse now the teaching becomes a preaching hallelujah praise the Lord nothing is too difficult with God no man, no king no leader can stop when God wants to move, when he wants to move he will move Otomu, Sotseke, Nebuchadnezzar or Pharaoh, nobody will stop the hands of God hallelujah, when God wants to move, he will move praise the Lord 
The Bible says in Exodus chapter 3, Moses was feeling comfortable in the Mount of Horeb, looking after the sheep. For 40 years he was in Midian. He was feeling good. And then that day, God came to Moses and said, Moses, huh? Moses, he called twice. God will always call you twice. will call your mind and will call your heart. Hallelujah. And a Kadibiru and a Kadibiko Baruna Kalu and a Kadibu Nanumu Bakasama or the Anaki Kadibu Namatanianomo. Hallelujah. Turn to your neighbor, tell your neighbor, God is calling you. Whether you in Nepia or whether you in Auckland or whether you in Wellington, God is calling somebody tonight. Don't ever tell me that God never called your life. Every one of us, we are here because God wants to use you. God can use our. never to harm you and to give you a future that you hope for. I think that I become an air traffic controller speaking to the, pilot, to the pilots that, that was cool. In Billy New Tunga Mina Mugila Ule Na Misar Tuna Tau Mina Ndewa Sutungi Na Pilate. Isn't that cool? But there was something that God has put aside in my life for me to become a Taltala. 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh, was to mananga, bakambao ke broken to. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, wuna, oh, wuna, tunga, only to mananga bakalao. Bakalao, 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 bakalao. Let's tell me bakambao. Bakambao, bakambao. Wali nga bakalagi. Let's tell me bakalao. Hallelujah. Red na kalo isi ni red na may numul malumu, si red na may numul tabuto, si red na may nakako short kina, nakako lega kina. Amen. O ko red na tunga may ni bagaro niya lumu. Balto ko sa tuo tito na ni tuo tuo, sa tuo tito na kaya na numa, sa tuo tito na kaya bina, bina kato ko ko mo bina kina. Kako kaya, ano ano ba sa cerma rusa bulga di wanting na indua. Ko yao ko sa kila na nungu, na numu may balit ko, nungu na numu mo, bina kasya ganida. Bito ko talaga na mo inuinui, ano ba isig na mataka? Isn't that wonderful? Before you form or conceive in your mother's womb, God already see your future. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! So when you hear tonight, or somebody that you watching on Facebook, somebody that you watch on a, on a television station back in Fiji, my TV or wireless platform on Channel Four, I want to encourage your life that God has a plan for you. No Tom, no Dick, no Harry, no King, no President, no Ratu, no Blow shall come between the plan of God in your life. Only you, only me, that we can deviate the plan of God in our life. We have either accept it or we either reject it. He's at the door knocking. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into his life. I have supper with him, and he will supper with me. The ball is in your court. Amen. Satu bikin taruh nanti ginting yang nampung ini kuah. Rani kau bawa iu, anak bosan ni kalau can you say yes to God? He's calling you. He want to use you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. No man, no king, no leader can stop or become a barrier when God want to move in your life. The only problem is our, me, myself, and I. On the tunubiri na mission, nakwata tao le bundun dun na kau tunubo si ni kalu o au o au merau wenga endo na bundi kau kambola bui ko endo na matau. Emeni, emeni, malto au nga tataruti ko. Hallelujah. O au bango, o au bango, o au bango, o au etaruti au tiko. Ni biya taka taka na kalo, o ko si biya reden mo fail, o tunal tunal tal tal nga tao. Hallelujah. Sa promo sa nga asim. Tunal tunal ni ko para sa simi. Emeni, class four, ah, form four, form four dropout. Emeni, walking in the in the bush of Matuku. Uh, in the island of Viti Levu, go to Bono Levu as a mission. Form 4, now working at Dr. Sen, one of the um, well known uh, medical centers uh, in the Western Division. And we heard uh, his testimony. No man, no king, no leader, no president, no Ratu, no Mulu can take away the plan of God in your life. Uh, Hallelujah. You just continue to walk with God. Continue to walk, walk with God. When Moses said, I can't speak. Moses said, I can't speak well. It's not about your speaking. It's not about your word. It's not about your talent. When I call you to be the head, you are the head. When I call you to be above, you will be above. Never beneath. Because I am God of all mankind. Amen. Some of you, I see the boys coming all the way from Napier. That you are sitting here. God have a special for you. Take it. Hallelujah. I always say to the British armies when I go up to Scotland, Wales, or go down to England, I, and I told them, your children can sit in 10 down street in the parliament of England. About so many years ago, my prime minister, in India, Hallelujah. When you walk with God, there's no limit. Because our God is a limitless God. Hallelujah. Most of the time, we Christians, we limit the God that we serve. He changed water into wine, multiply five loaves of bread. Imagine. Come my five loaves of bread. Come my one thousand. No, two na one bread, two na ten thousand. One bread, two bread, three bread, four bread, five bread. Five bread feed five thousand men, excluding women and children. In any church gathering, in a level two kung ano marama kira ngone, they ate the five loaves of bread Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and two fish Friday, a Saturday, and Sunday. All the stomach they full as they want to eat, and they collect the leftover of twelve basket January to December. You know the hands of God. 
You know the word of God can look after you. Kabi kenda ni voltambu kuresa kauta no kuspeli er kana mai no kuspeli. Emeni, emeni, Hallelujah. Wira sa kauta no kuspeli er kana mai no kuspeli. Mana lah ba? Sa langi langi na evanra er gitu takana timi ni biti. Siapa ba? Sa langi langi na evanra er zuru no mati balu Australia. Sa langi langi na evanra ura mai zaka zaka ena agriculture, sera foresty. Sengai kali bertemu, sah lagi lagi naya bandra. Era kau tu nai tukut tukup binaka, ni era kau tu mai nabi binaka, era kau tu mai nata nata udoko. Lagi lagi naya bandra. Seni ni era kita league, seni ni era kita world cup, seni ni era kau tu mai na na seven side. E lagi lagi naya apa? E kau tu tukut nai tukut tukup binaka. I was sharing a few nights ago when the the demon possessed a few about twenty or forty students at Beuto. It was in the news. They did not call the police. They didn't call the army. They didn't call the um, education uh, minister. They called the pastors. Or to so na na mission or to lang pa takital ka sosya. And they came. And three pastors from CMF and tal tala from uh, Lotu Isle. They came in and they pray over all the student in Beuto Primary School. Hallelujah. And all the demons left. Why? Because they have the power. Because there is no chief, there is no man that can stop the will of God to perform miracle signs and wonders wherever you are. How many? When you're sitting here today, there are barriers that you look up to the barrier as something. No. Your limit is only God. Apart from God, there is nobody else there. You have to listen to his word. Praise the Lord. God is good. God is good. No man. No man, no chief, no leaders, no president. They can all fail. Jesus will never fail. Hallelujah. So tonight, when you come in tonight and listen to the word of God, remember Jeremiah 32, 27. He is a God of all mankind. Is anything too difficult for him to do? Praise the Lord. Number two. He is a God that look, us, look after nature. There is no nature. There is no cyclone. There is no flooding. There is no situation that can stop him. The story that is in the screen. Talking about Exodus chapter 14. They came and there was the Red Sea. For those of you that have been to, to Midian. Uh, today that country is called Saudi Arabia. When you stand there, it's about you standing from Nasese and you look to Benga, if you know that, uh, that uh, geography. From Nasese and you look to Benga. About 22, uh, 20, 20 to 22 miles. Hallelujah. And they heard the army of Pharaoh that are chasing them. And they were standing there and uh, about 3 million people were crying to Moses. Moses, why you bring us to this desert? See, there's no cemetery here for us to be buried properly because they were thinking that they will die there randuri tu garza moses ya tabo kokoti ke mamai kini ke ke misa mai tu ke mamina mati tu bagalolo mai ke bagana mamuna will die like an animal here but nobody was thinking about their god the god who set them free from the hands of pharaoh the god who set them free from the armies of pharaoh and they were standing there because there is no nature there is no flood and there is no sea red or black will stop the hands of god to move in your life they were standing there and Moses while well, they were crying and Moses was crying they were worried and Moses was worried just like you and me and he turned to God and said Lord the people are crying what shall I do what shall I do Lord what shall I do what's in your hand Moses what's in your hand oh my walking stick take your walking stick and point to the Red Sea hallelujah he point his stick to the Red Sea and in few hours the Red Sea start to come on dry land and three million people they walk on the dry land from one side to the other because there is no nature there is no cyclone there is no flooding that can stop the hands of God to save you from whatever situation that you're in amen Praise the Lord. Amen. Jesus said, Let us go to the other side. Amen. 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 
Artu sabon tu kita angga, artu salah kau kita ikan dua. Enak lo malu menyembongi, enak lo menyuas suasa. Kita rere itu nak dengi lamba, enak lo menyuas suasa. Itu nak lo malu menyembongi, lo menyuas suasa, kita lo menyuas dengi lamba. Amen. And they were shouting, Jesus, we are about to die, because he was sleeping at the back. And he stood up, come to the front. He said, "Wind, shut up. Wave, sit down. Vali, ruru, waswasa, marabu." And they turned around. Who is this man? Even the winds and the waves listen to him. Hallelujah. Ni kau dambi tukan ni kau nanti dapat tahu tukan, dapat tahu tak ketukan nama mula. Dan rakyat dapat dapat kata tahu tak ketukan nama mula. Batu batang amai sesi ni lutu, batu batang amai sa lutu dah snow sesi ni lagi tumbuh. Hallelujah. Dan rakyat dapat, dapat dapat. Dan tahun berapa nak uda, sisi berapa nak uni salah. Dan rakyat dapat biar taruh biku tu kau. Enak kami di sini. There is no weather, there is no nature that can stop you when God is with you. When God is with you, there is nothing supposed to stop you because God created everything. That you can touch, that you can feel, that you can hear, that you can see, you can smell. Any five senses of your life can control the things that are in front of you. Kakevetu matamugori ikorani boka malumu taka malaba salebu koko itigol. Greater is the one that is in you and the one out there in the world. The cyclone is still small. Hallelujah. The giant is still small. The tiger is still small. Even the lion in the lion's den is still smaller than Daniel. The lion's head becomes his pillow. The lion's tail becomes his pen. In one night he slept with the lion. On the next day they collect all the people that tick Daniel. About five of them and their wives and their children, and they were thrown to the same lion, to the same lion den. The Bible says their body did not touch the ground, only their bones. What happened? Viri taki otaniela, mo de bateri, mo de nyesa ngo no na loko loko tali tuna leone. Amen. Kumi butuzia no ni tutuvi. Amen. Nampuni Leone, Ray Rivi kau tahu tu. Balik tanah nama kita langgok kita kan tahu tu lembang ni. Garis Leone. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tapi kau tu kesamu. Ure kau tu nak kemu meja. Erna ya tu mera kai nomu. Amen. What happened? As soon as they get Daniel out, and they throw a lot of people in, and the Bible says not even their body went to the to the floor of that lion den. They were eaten in the mid air. Only their bones touched the ground. What happened? Hallelujah! And there is the God that you serve. If you see a lion, you tell the lion, "You'll come and look after me." You see a crocodile, you see a tiger. Hallelujah! When Jonah was thrown into the sea, there was a big fish. He's not coming to eat Jonah. He come to swallow Jonah. So Jonah have a submarine. The first person to travel the submarine was Jonah, and that fish took Jonah to the very place that get into the boat. How does that fish know? Tell me the mango. I go to my embanga. Kandabu. And the fish will take you to Pacific Harbor because you get the boat from Pacific Harbor. That's how God works in our life. Amen. He will control the fish. He'll control the birds. He'll control the lion. He'll control the king. He control everybody because God is God. So you sit here today when Jeremiah said he is the God of all mankind. Is anything that he cannot do to me? Praise the Lord. I was invited back in those years to go to our boys in Sinai. Orandini was in Jerusalem studying. So they asked me, Oh, Taltala, my wife won't want to Sinai. So uh they came with a two twin cab, or to the short in the or to make out. Don't a twin cab of Merto God, I would not do the twin cab of the Sotan Sotia. Ketu Salamis at Totala, Ketuna Loxar, via ten ten hours in a border to Samira, we meet the Anisarna. Ketuna Wika, Galitin Talena was about twenty hours in a category of Salis my my sign. Ketuna Kitu Sarin Takosumike, Tuna, another way I send it to Takos, this is only for military personnel. Oi. If you talk about army personnel, I'm also in the army of God. We just try. Hallelujah. We, we just try to cross. Because 10 hours, I was thinking 10 hours. But if we take a cross cut, how many hours? Only 2 hours. Okay, we, we take the cross cut. So we came from Israel side. And we walk into the, what we call the checkpoint. Oh, Bula Fiji. And they said, Bula, 
Okay. All army personnel? Oh, yes. What about that one? Oh, we are all Salam. Salam. Yes, I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the no man's land. And we have 50 meters back as 20 meters. So, you know my gap. Salam. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm ready to go. And you? Oh, I'm, I'm also in the army. I'm just wearing uh, uh, civilian clothes. I'm the pastor. He look around. He look uh, back to the to the uh, supervisor. Maybe the supervisor was sitting in the booth. He looked to the supervisor, and the supervisor was busy. I don't know, writing or drawing or just sleeping. He looked to the to the booth, and the supervisor was busy write, uh, writing. And he said, "Okay, Fiji, go, go, go." He control everybody. He control even your enemy. Sanga nindo na kain re re biko ay nasigabi na kadiko. Nakangau ka itiko. Lebu na kasa da kaba na kalau kina numbula. You are sitting here. You have your testimonies. Don't tell me you don't have testimony. You have testimony. That God already done so many things in your life. You need to talk to people about what God has done, and God will increase. Ewo tiga butu ni alo five dollars ten dollars. Kau satu ni alo tako fifty dollars sixty dollars ah fifty thousand sixty thousand five thousand ten thousand twenty thousand fifteen thousand. People just come and give. Why? Because I testify the five dollars and the ten dollars. Because the testimony is something that you use to snub the work of the devil. Ori ruang anak kaya. Ewo kamu mula muntah kena tebor. Doang anak nomu tuku ni alo kena kini keruan and right sisu. According to the Bible. So when children of God, when Christians talk about what God has done in your life, when you wake up in the morning, the bread is there. When you wake up in the morning, oh yeah, oh, isn't that a miracle? Isn't that a miracle? You wake up in the morning, hey, I'm breathing. Because some people, they never wake up again. They just have to take it to a mock and prepare for their coffin and the burua to, to start the their funeral service and you waking up every morning isn't that a miracle so when you're given the opportunity oh anybody want to say the goodness of God you raise your hand oh I just want to thank God for my life I want to thank God that uh, my heart is good my kidney is good because some people are waiting for kidney for kidney transplant I pray for a lot of people in CWM I pray for people they calling all over Fiji and sometimes we sit here with all our organs good. You don't know. People are crying and fasting. If any spare kidney that is out there. Don't kidney. So all these things we need to trust in God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. No place, no situation is too difficult. Waves, winds, or even waters. Nothing shall stop you from the, what God has called you to do. Can you tell you? No sickness, no weakness can stop God from performing miracle. A talon to get to we can, and a talon or a crony too in a can of a cinema, and do not turn another on your money, cover to go nemani. Who can go to some cabago on them? Never on them. Hallelujah. You on them, a turn you can be sitting here look nice with your clothes look nice with everything but only you know what's, what you are covering just like Naaman he got the physical leper but we have the spiritual leper amen so he came to Elijah and, uh, and told Elijah, I, I, I want to be set free from, I, I, I'm with leprosy. He said, okay, you go and dip yourself seven times to the, to the river. Huh? What can I kill you? I have good rivers in Syria for me to go and dip myself there. You go and dip yourself there. Because God will perform miracle in your life. There is no doctor, there is no God in Syria can heal you. Hallelujah. But if you go to that river, shows your humbleness, shows your faith in the God that I serve, and then God will heal you. When he was healed, God can do that. There is no sickness, sir. there is no infirmity that can come and stop what God wants to perform miracle 
in your life. You heard the story about the man that the ideas in Bethesda. They were going to Jerusalem and then before they entered the gate to Jerusalem, he walked aside to Bethesda and saw one man there. And Jesus knew that it's been too long, he's been lying there. And Jesus came to him out of everybody there. He said to him, Do you want to leave? I got no, no servant to take me to the pool. Every time they stir the pool, the angels come and stir the pool. I was trying to go paralasi. Kamu tak kau paralasi? Kamu tak kau paralasi? Paralasi sih orang itu eh? They can't move. Nau nak kau dah balik tiki na nawai? Aku sih kau dah balik tunga. Nau nak kau dah balik kina? Aku sih wake up call tal tu berak ya. Become alarm clock to everybody. Aku sih dah balik tunga. Satu romong go, satu romong go. Rehan rokong go, rehan rokong go. Erlagu lecili. Aku umpet dia nak tu hello. Aku yang nak tunga aku bila yang nanti. Ia nak lakukan kerja sahaja sendiri. Esok nak sahaja jin dua. Kau tiada kini sili sili. Kau kau cuci tu. Tu, tahu rumah ini mana dekat aku? There is no sickness and there is no infirmity that can stop the hands of God to perform miracle in your life. On dah betul betul ni kuah, dah betul betul mati tu kau yang omu. Ibu sampai tu kau dikira. Bong ini kuah, ni nak 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 alter call. Bong ini kuah, ni kalau kau tak mai ke, senduan atau bi mati tu kau ibu sampai tu kau dikira. Wakam bau tadi nak kiri atau kiri nak nak mumbula, ena singa bi nak ni kuah. Kiri atau kiri? Emeni. So nak guna mesin dah ungir mai. I tal tal lah, nak lubi angkut tu kau nak ICU. Mau tiru mana sih sangkir termai? Tal talai sih mina bagalibu. Nalai lebih kita itu na ma ina ICU ngangkir bagam bulai kau kena nak lo. Do you know that there is no sickness can stop the hands of God to move in your life now? Amen. No sickness. Kabi kena ni boltamu. Dua buka buka mai Syria. Dua peralasi mai Jerusalem. Kabi kena boltamu. Kau sabi yang bulas sih sana. Bito me okan nona bagam dala. Non sabi yang bulas. No other excuse. Tunggu apa? Saya akan ini dua orang nunggu tempat. Kurtu kurtu tu lah cium ayor tu main bicu ngau saya 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 kau tunggu. Thirty eight years. Imagine. Every time the angel will come and stir the pool, he was already awake. But because he cannot move, that's why he's missing out for thirty eight years. Well, when Jesus come, pick up your bed. Kau nanda bon dabo ikut dabon dabo kina, nanda bon dabo itu support lagi ko, nanda bon dabo ikut dabo tu kina. Satu lusa bulu kalu nembaki, dola nampun dabon dabo, lagi balik ko sambulan ni kuah. Nampeni. You know God when speak to you, He can take away any sickness in your life, anywhere, anytime. Praise the Lord. Ni lagu nabi masuklah kita belum bula. Iku kau hendak urut lagi na. Sanduri tua bunuai, satu tahu turun nabi kani, sanduri dolo kani. Iku nampun mung turang. Oh, sila mabuk nak kau kuah. But you can hear the. The voice of God. Kang usah tak apa usah terang anak lihat anak dalam masuk. Iku bawa bota. No na rai na rai mai ni tempat atau bima teni biar bula. You can you can you can you you don't want to see them because it will make you cry and you will not pray. Usah tahu bawa bunga. Atu na tu terang anak ada cisu. Usah tunru bawa nampada. Mai bura dalam nampada kita kita yang mana nampada tak bunga. Nampada ni ngada ngada. Kapa kat tiap orang nampada bunga. Usah bawa dah ubi suka. Ubi tu yeli. Nampu dia betul mesti kau kira. Osan osa teratungan alingan, osa bakilan ni saya kure. Osa teratungan alingan, osa bakilan ni saya mata tak mai. Osa teratungan alingan, saya rong na bos seperti tunai kana. Something has happened because there is no sickness can stop the hands of God when He want to move in your life. How many? God is real. Our God is real. He's a God of Methodist. He's a God of Seventh Day. He's a God of Pentecostal. He's a God of those that serve Him. It's not about the name of the church. It's not about the name of the Taltala. It's about the name of Jesus. That every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. Amen. Aun ni salo kadi biyomasula ko si Bikla. Lo tudaba si lo tudaba. Aun kila nga ko engkarbi Jesus. Aun ko indono koro engkarbi ka o Jesus. Kung engkarbi ka o Jesus, nungo bolin lutala. Donga yung mga ito ba? Amen. It's not about the denomination. It's not about our clothes. It's not about the name. It's about God. It's about Jesus. The name that is given from heaven. That every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. In heaven, on earth, and under the earth. For people to glorify his name. Amen. There is no spirit and there is no devil. Hallelujah. Sekarang ini dua na teboro, teboro lelebu kita teboro lelai. Onda kuanga sekarang onda undara, onda udina sudah di telingori. Hallelujah. Orang orang lelai matangi sekarang orang diri. Emeni, om om. Nama ini nanti ni. Nada mana ada teboro duka? Tu momo. Nanti tu. 
Alléluia. Na tebor le lebo, do ka ta do rire ba tu na tebor. Amen. Ngel la ko ma ko na bo ba bi bi na bulu bulu la ko ikana bulu bulu. Eh. O ka ta do rire sanga bulu bulu tendo enda bitu kita ke dua. Alléluia. Sanga ni dua na tebor. Alléluia. E na zaro ni tu ma ta mo. Na tebor re chiko ke sa ti ko na ngelo si ma li chiko na tebor. E na tebor ro ma chiko. O o ngo na no ni tu tu na tebor bi ko. Ngo. Kau tu sudah lakukan lebih koro-koro. Do butuh kesombongan yang tak lawak yang membuat masanga. Do zemur yang tebor yang tangguh. Do vivo kembali yang tangguh. Hallelujah. There is no demon, there is no evil spirit that is strong enough in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. So, aku lakukan di Imba, and there was a college, a nuclear. Nukulo College, sangkiri mau principal turang di India. Oh, tal talah, the the demon is attacking three three girls in our school. Can you come? We came there and they were having a school prayer. We came and pray. Ngau nangai masukina. Kau salah kau ngaku endolo, salah kau kau kano kuli. Gaya dua apa kau melif melif ngau mau kau mina floor. Mepa toko kau mepa toko nang unu kau mai love. Tala betok kina. Tuna in the name of Jesus, you get back to the toilet and to the septic tank and to hell. That's where you belong. How many? There is no demon, there is no devil that is strong enough to stop the work of God in your life. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. No power, no evil, no demon. They are all fallen angels. Hallelujah. And they will try to scare you. They will try to, uh, to uh, pull you out of the call of God in your life. That's from the devil. You are not utilizing your full potential. May do matter no mosa. And do matter we can do it okay. Spirit of fear, spirit of timid. The Bible says you are not given the spirit of timid and fear. You are given the spirit of sound mind and love and boldness. So you only can do na ni rere na ni riko. Kina ni mandua. So you can do na ni dondo. Kina ni koko wa kina loloma. Amen. Can you tell me can the sign and you go around my worship team? Hallelujah. There is no problem. Sin in Duana Lenga. Eroni Tarova. Nisavia Tosso Nakalu. Nisavia Vakalakalu. Sangan in Duana Lenga. Sangan in Duana. Thank you, Rukil Tony. Catu we can hold up. There is no problem. And anything is too difficult. Satuna by Cocherico. Ertoa walking at the Gera. Hallelujah. That there is absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing that is too difficult for God to perform miracles. Anda mana ni dia tuh mata muni kuah, no mobil, no mobisa, what's in front of you? Your children become rebellious. Some of the boys they are working here, and the three years they will be in Nepia, and their wife is still at home. What do you have? That becomes a problem. There is no problem too big for God. How many? How many? Lagu ni ucap suasa tu ceriko, suasa, Hallelujah. Kita pakai nak, kita pakai nak tarik nota kena normal conversation. Josh, who are you? I want to speak to you. Are you with me or are you with them? I'm not with you, Joshua, and I'm not with them. I'm the army of God. The Bible says he bowed down to the ground. As soon as Joshua knew that he is the army commander of the army of God he bowed down to the ground he knew the problem in front of him this man will handle it you will conquer the city I already given to your hand on the first day make one round on the second day another round third day fourth day another round but only on the seventh day Seven round and shout. That wall will come tumbling down. We defeat our enemy because of the word of God. Not with our might. Not with money. Not with our talent. We defeat our tomorrow, our enemies tomorrow. Because of the word of God. Beleti. Body armor. Shoes. Helmet, shield, and prayers. The sixth armor is the word. You attack the devil with the word. Not with the belt. Not with the breastplate. Not with the helmet. Not with the shield. You attack the devil with the sword. 
Nothing shall stand before you if you have the word of God in your life. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We praise your mighty name and thank you for tonight encouraging us to go to another level. We praise your mighty name, Father God, that there are some people here they are struggling with the things that they are going through. And I pray tonight there will be a freedom, there will be a healing, there will be a restoration for your name to be glorified. This is our prayer. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. And everyone say Amen. Langa we can't do any tal talisere. Hallelujah. Aun na sureti ko mai. Duri na bunu eda ngile kina mosa nika. Kae tahu tu. Satao. All the problems that you are facing, just give two to three minutes to come and surrender everything. Hallelujah. Don't allow this time to go past you. Hallelujah. If you want to stand, if you want to kneel, or you just sit on the floor, it's up to you. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bring it to the Lord this evening. Test the Lord. Test the Lord tonight. Bring it to the Lord. Bring it to the Lord. God will meet you tonight. God will meet you tonight. We shall be able to Problem in your workplace, problem at home, there problem with your relationship, problem with your children, problem with your boss, problem with your neighbors. Bring it to the Lord tonight. Bring it to the Lord tonight. There is peace oh, hallelujah. For the world, we in the center, in the center. One more time. Thank you, Jesus. We will pray tonight and you receive it. We will pray tonight and you will receive it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the last time, can you watch your TV candle? Magarauto na masu. Hallelujah. Praise your mighty name, Lord. We praise your mighty name. pray this prayer with me we call it the prayer of repentance when you pray pray from the depth of your heart before we pray for some items three items I'll pray for but first of all follow this prayer with me Lord Jesus I come before you because you are the strength of my life nothing say with me nothing 
absolutely nothing will stop the hands of God in my life that's why I'm here I surrender my life to you everything to you from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet and thank you for the opportunity to be here tonight I surrender everything in Jesus name I surrender my life in Jesus name I surrender my character I surrender my finance I surrender my time to you and you alone this is my prayer in your name Jesus I pray somebody say amen wherever you standing number one topic number one I'll pray for relationship husband and wife and your children if you are standing here you feel that that's you just receive it wherever you standing just say quietly I receive it I receive it I receive it Father God I pray for all the relationship that are going astray at the moment or are going through some friction I pray in the mighty name of Jesus every spirit of unforgiveness every spirit of arguments every spirit of differences I bind this right now and I cast it to the lake of fire where they belong thank you Father God as I release the unity I release the togetherness I release the forgiveness in their life and I thank you for that husband and wife I thank you for the parents and the students I thank you for the God for the neighbors I thank you for the God in the workplace that people will come together through the power of your Holy Spirit lead us and to guide us in your name Jesus we pray that you mend all the relationship that are struggling at the moment I bind every demonic activities I bind every spirit that is not of you and I cast it to the lake of fire thank you for the God as I receive unity and togetherness in the relationship maybe the husband about to go walk out that marriage or maybe the woman is staying back uh, to another man or running to their parents in the mighty name of Jesus uh, I pray restoration I pray coming together I pray the forgiveness of, of their heart uh, so they can accept one another again this is our prayer we receive we receive and we receive the togetherness in the family in Jesus name we pray Hallelujah. Give a mighty hand clap to the Lord. Secondly, I pray for work. I pray for, for physical needs and I pray for financial statement. For the God, I pray that some people are in need of financial obligation. They are struggling with their finances or maybe in their workplace or maybe they need promotion or maybe they need transfer. In the name of Jesus, I pray over their life from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. You will open the door when there is no door. You will provide the way when there is no way. Thank you for the God, the opportunity that you will give them to be promoted to be transferred to the better place to a better company and all your will to be done we thank you for tonight Father God we will seek you we will come before you and we will listen to your word because you will mend every every requirements and every need physically financially into our life this is our prayer in Jesus wonderful name we pray and everyone say Amen give a mighty hand clap to the Lord the last one any sickness for you or anybody at home let us come before the Lord in prayer father tonight we bind and rebuke the spirit of infirmity every sickness in our body we tell them now to live 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 cancer live muscle and nerve live any sickness in the bone you have to live any sickness in our organs that means liver our heart our lungs our kidney, our intestine, our stomach. Right now, I command every spirit of infirmity. Buta nambula. Lako. Lako. Buta nambula. Na wawale, musi masela, na gout, and the right is, au sabauda. Buta. Hallelujah. Turanga, au sarilista kanambula. 
I release life, I release health into everybody's life, everybody's body, and those that are staying at home, or maybe somebody in his hospital that is standing here on behalf of them, or maybe their parents back in Fiji, or their grandfather, grandmother back in Fiji, in the mighty name of Jesus, we are standing here claiming that the sickness will leave our family, sickness will leave our body, sickness will depart now, right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. This is our prayer. We receive good health. We receive restoration. In Jesus wonderful name. We pray. Somebody shout amen. amen. Hallelujah. 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 Just say a few words just to glorify God. And we'll ask the praise. One mid praise just to thank God. That young man, that young woman. Thank you for the God for that married couple. Thank you for the God for the finance that is required. Buying a new car, buying a new house, or maybe starting a business, investing in something new. Father God, we pray tonight. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Everybody that are here today, they will go home and receive exactly. And they will say, Man, Lord, thank you for allowing me to come to that meeting. We receive healing, we receive finances, we receive good health, we receive restoration to the relationship. For marriage couple, there will be a sweetness in their relationship. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Just sing along as you receive from God tonight. <laughs> Aulande auri kau mamara, Jesus dayar tak sama serikia, arau di sa sereki, kau nak. Bagai dua teman, bagai dua teman. Aumarau, aumarau di sa sereki, aumarau di sa sereki, aumarau di sa sereki. Thank you. 
Aleluia. Vas a soltar una nueva vale una calor en la cabeza de la canisiga de Dai. Sureto no tambula. Aleluia. Anda la vida mandando el ingrediente matado. Vas a soltar el teléfono calor en la línea la línea roco y menos chinga. Rua tolu. Holy Spirit, we thank you in Jesus name. Jesus is Lord. To God be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Aleluia. Vas a soltar el vento para calor. La cosa va porque mandan a lulu mandan a vivir que me rosinga la cosa está mal. Aleluia. En la cabeza de la canisiga de Dai. Hallelujah. Don't ever come and can you believe we can't have a cabin in a garden singing? Go, 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 Hallelujah. Na kabibi na kadi sikiti ndai. Hallelujah. Varo tiki chinga ya. Hallelujah. So na wake kata kata na kabibi na kadi sikiti kuwa menda na ben. Do binga kina. Hallelujah. Na kabibi na kadi sikiti kuwa. Hallelujah. Kuni ba kusukusi vale. Na kabibi na kadi sikiti kuwa. Varo tiki chinga ndai. Na wake kata kata na kabibi na sikiti menda ben. Do bikin. Hallelujah. E na kabibi na kadi sikiti ndai. na sigi ni mataka haleluya kwa kwa sigi ni ndo na buno yuko ngole kina haleluya kito vesu retitiko haleluya na sigi ni mataka na matele lai ya na baka dhoritel chika kina na songo ni haleluya mai jetpack haleluya hotel ya na mataka ya na kabibi na kadisi kina kwa kwa sigi ni ndo na mitu mutuba si ndo na buno yuko ngole kina kito sa vesu retitiko na mataka ni mataka ya na baka dhoritiko haleluya na songo ni tuto watanga ni kuwa haleluya ya na baka dhoritiko mai jetpack hotel haleluya ya na kapitale vinaka ni sigi ni ndai Stand and lift up our hands For the joy of the Lord is our strength We bow down and worship Him now How great, how awesome is He Stand up and lift up your hands We stand and lift up our hands For the joy of the Lord is our strength. We bow down, we bow down, and worship Him now. How great, how awesome is He! Holy is the Lord, God Almighty. The earth is filled with His glory. Is filled with His glory. We stand and lift up our hands for the joy of the Lord is our strength. We bow down, we bow down, and worship Him now. Our great, our awesome is He. Sing with me. Stand and lift up our hands For the joy of the Lord is our strength We bow down, we bow down And worship Him now How great, how awesome is He Holy is the Lord, God Almighty The earth Filled with His glory, holy is the Lord, God Almighty. The earth is filled with His glory. The earth is filled with His glory, holy is the Lord. 
Lord, God Almighty, the earth is filled with His glory, the earth, the earth is filled with His glory, Hosanna, 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 Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna. Send and lift up our hands Woo! For the joy of the Lord is our strength We bow down We bow down And worship Him now How great, how awesome is He Stand and lift up our hands We stand and lift up our hands For the joy of the Lord is our strength. We bow down, we bow down, and worship Him now. How great, how awesome is He! Holy is the Lord, God Almighty. The earth is filled with His glory. Holy is the Lord. Oh